Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face. I have been running some L4 missions and I'm just returning home of uh, home to my home of Jita from the L4 mission hub. And something came up on my mind that I wanted to discuss to you guys about, and that is skins. Skins are very important to me. You guys who know me well maybe know that I think skins are a very important part of the game because I like to have ships that look good. I like to have ships that look good. I think the graphics in EVE Online look really good. I am not at all an advocate of the potato graphics. I always love to run in all near or max graphics just to be able to admire how good my ships look like so right now we're in the malediction a very speedy ship carrying some little cargo i got for some missions some elite drone ai and this malediction is using one of my favorite color schemes the uh, can it color scheme the black and silver color scheme which is something i really like a lot and i'm just going to clean it here just to make sure that it's extra shiny because it's always important to keep your ship skin clean so this is something that I want to talk about because there was an event that was released recently uh, with the, like this kind of Japanese localization or some kind of Japanese uh, event that has been released. And that basically makes it so that you get these new skins right here. These, uh, these pink and uh, blue or purple skins. Me personally, I don't really like them. I'm not a fan of these kind of skins. But um, it made me just thinking a bit about the skins actually because something that has come across my mind a lot is that you know i say now that i like this kind of skin right here okay i like this kind of skin right here i think it looks very good uh, it's my favorite type of color scheme and i wish i could have this on more ships because in my opinion i think that almost every skin like default skin should exist on every ship in the game now what what do i mean by default skins well the thing is in eve you kind of got different types of skins you could say so if we go say on the apocalypse right here apocalypse okay go in the apocalypse okay this kind of kind of skin this is kind of like a default skin because it's essentially the same as the normal skin the only thing is they've just tweaked the like the color that's the only thing is they've just flipped around the color same thing with this purity of the throne they've just made the like that you see here there's the black one they and the silver they just made both these colors to white that's basically all it is it's, it's like a default skin same thing with this Kador skin you know it's no like particular pattern or anything it's just the same thing they made it silver and blue so i what I, I don't there's no like official term for this so this here called iron could also be considered i consider a default skin this Adi Shapu, i also consider this to be a default skin just because it's basically a recolor it's not like any particular artwork that's gone into it like for example this is now what i would not consider a default skin i'd consider this like a more advanced skin you can see here it's got a bit of like a particular pattern right here it's not like a, just a straight up just a recolor it's got a particular pattern but there are also skins that are even more advanced than you could say this i would say uh, it's some that are made like particularly for a type of ship like it wouldn't work like for example this uh, th like this skin and this abyssal firestorm they could still work on other hulls they would just have to take this pattern and put it on another ship but let's see now if we can find something like this skin i think this is more like an advanced skin because these kind of lines they had to be particularly placed here of some artists like because you couldn't just place these lines wherever and have them look good they have to be placed in a particular area but if we say hey if like a, one of these so-called default skins like i'm talking about like these ones it doesn't matter really where the, it is as long as the color because every skin seems to have or every ship seems to have almost always seems to have kind of like two kind of colors so all they would have to do is just take this you know replace this with a white and put this here with a green or just make them both white it's simple as that but when it comes to like this skin right here a bit more advanced skin they would have to put this particular you know like uh, these lines here and then you got a bit more advanced patterns that i mean it could work it could like this could be translated to another ship like if it was you know if, if they just uh, copy paste this texture but it would not it would still this would require a lot more work from the art team especially like you can see that this kind of logo right here you see they've just they've had they had to particularly placed it here uh this exoplanet skin here is another one of these so-called default skins i call the point i'm trying to make here is that there are many default skins in the game and i think there are many of them that look really good canid skin is one of those skins i think that look really good and the thing i do not understand okay this is what i really do not understand is why do these default skins not exist on all other ships because they do exist in the game 
these ships do these skins do technically like the kind of exist in the game it's just they're not like here as a skin because i wish that my whole amar fleet of ships like i've got a purifier i've got mauler apocalypse paladin i wish they could all have the cannon skin so they all matching i would pay serious plex to get cannon skins on all my ship but they don't exist if we go here purifier purifier does not have any cannon skin why i don't understand this is a simple case of just making this gray here black and this outline here silver. Not much to it. Uh, and if you guys still don't believe me that these skins don't exist in the game, go on this website right here called Kaldari Prime Pony Club. I know it's a weird name, Kaldari Prime Pony Club, but that's uh, that's what this is called. This is a good way to just look at models if you want of the ships that you want mine. So if we go here, Purifier, Purifier, and then we go here, it this is basically just ripping the skins from the game because it's taking like the colors that I get for the game because all it is is a case of just setting this part of the ship to this texture and that's it not, not much to it you, you see here there's a kind of skin here why can't i have this in the game i would pay lots of plex to be able to have this skin right here i i it just i don't understand why because it's not like a whole lot of work would be need to put in to be able to have these kind of skins because this like some stuff that would actually you would have to do a lot of work would be to get them would be stuff like this kind of skin right here you can see this they had like the crown and swords and like you have they have to particularly place these logos this kind of line um let's see if there's any other ones we've got here maybe this star captain one they have to particularly place them here this imperial jubilee also they would have to particularly make these like you know these uh, lines here it's not like the like they could just apply the skin to another ship like if we go on apocalypse apocalypse show skin you can see we've got the imperial jubilee as well here they had to kind of like particularly put the lines here an artist had to go out of the way to put the lines here but no artist really has to go out of their way to make a skin like this okay all they had to do set this color to red set this color to black that's it we can even get it here this already here in the cult of Pine Polony club we can and the thing that also baffles me a lot is why do we not have a kind of like a skin market i wish that we had a skin market in Evo Online. and what do i mean by that oh not really a skin market but a skin workshop so this is how this is like my ideal world obviously ccp has their priorities but this is how i would do it in my ideal world so i would kind of have like a separate kind of thing here for skin customization a skin market so what they would do is you could kind of have like sort of three tiers of skins so you could have first you could have default skins like this and you could then set it to a particular color and then save that and put that on the market as that design or, or save it somewhere so you can browse through different people's like collection of skins and you can maybe have a default skin go for like 50 plex or something like that and because this can easily be customized like i don't understand why this could be easily customized by uh, uh real players to make a skin like this so they're all all they have to do is have like a color slider and just uh, on one on the secondary color and one on the primary color and maybe one for the logo because you can kind of affect the logo as well i don't think you can do it here but i think there are some it's just like a, it's a, just a decal right here you could change this logo as well if you want the purifier actually always has this logo for some reason it doesn't matter which skin you have it will always have this logo here okay let's just dock up here well, we can also go and like this software right here is able to give you so many good skills and i don't understand why we can't have something like this in game that would be able to then save them because like say if i make a particular like custom skin and i put it on this uh, uh, skin workshop or skin like uh, market or whatever then uh, other people could just like oh i want to buy that and it costs 50 plex and like ccp would get that plex off but what i mean is it's kind of way to share your skin and then maybe you would have a bit more advanced skin like with a bit more advanced pattern like for example this one right here where you kind of have a more advanced pattern like it's not just like a plain color it's a bit more you know advanced to it and then you could then you could also this this could then maybe go for i don't know let's say 100, 100 plex and then you would have this kind of skin which would be like an advanced skin like a really advanced skin or maybe it would go for like i don't know 150 200 plex or something like that and you could like probably like set the you know lines or or, or by yourself as the player and this is actually possible this is actually possible ccp was planning on doing this at one point but they decided not to do that but uh the main thing for me actually is just i wish you could have different default skins but you are actually there was actually in the works at one point of ccp doing so that you could have a customization of skins in game and i'll show you this guys right now okay you see here look at this look at this 
they've got they, they in 2014 they announced something in development now it's obviously not in development anymore but they wanted to do some kind of specific, like custom skins that you can actually make in game look at this look they can just make these skins like that just like that you can make your own skins look it's just the amazing things you could you could do it's like you know many of these racing games that you could like paint your cars and that kind of stuff. I wish you could do that in EVE Online. But unfortunately, I guess uh, CCP had better things to spend their time on. But I would have... It's just the thing is, I can imagine me using so much Plex to be able to actually, uh, you know, make these custom skins. Like you can make each custom skin, you know, if you want to get it. You have to pay like 50 Plex or something like that. And I would have done that on all my ships because I would have loved my ships to like match each other. It would have been just so much Plex. And that's just me. I mean, imagine people who are much rich. I'm not even particularly rich. There are people who are much richer than me in EVE Online, actually. So I, I would have just really love to be able to have that it would have been so nice and unfortunately it doesn't exist i really hope ccp decides to one day uh, develop this but i don't uh, i'm unfortunately not having high hopes for that you can also see here there was actually some uh, guy on reddit he actually posted this a while ago this was five years ago but this was actually when someone there was some glitch that you could have any skill on any ship so this guy even had a uh a nyx in a blood raider skin you can see here this is now the old blood raider skin the old the blood raiders they used to look a little bit different i think but you can see hey you just added a blood raider skin to his nyx like that even though it isn't even an amar ship so it wouldn't make any sense that you would be able to have it but you know you can add it there so that's just a bit of my thoughts on skins i wish they could exist i wish there was a way to just uh, share custom skins at the very least i wish we could have default skins like this canid one or uh, you know this ardishapur or cold iron or like i wish i could have every ship could have cold iron i wish every ship could have purity of the throne i uh, i wish everything could have rata sunset like i it can be there but this for some reason they don't exist there actually um actually now i just remembered something i actually there was a q a i asked ccp actually why can't we have all skins on every ship and they said oh we're gonna mix up the tech 2 variants with you know the tech 1 variants like for example um the mauler yeah if you've got the mauler right here go here mauler right if this had a kind of skin it would look very much like the sacrilege this this ship right here but i still i just i don't see i don't see why you wouldn't be able to have that i mean it will look similar right but the the cycle still does look a little bit different and even then there are many skins that have the that look exactly the same or many ships that look exactly the same by different ships for example i mean we could just go on the ear um what was it now i think it was the redeemer it has an eom skin that it looks you know it looks like this eom skin right and then if we go on the armageddon navy issue it looks the exact same. There's actually no difference. It looks exactly the same. At least the Sacrilege and Mauler, they have those like extra turbo engines or something like that uh, that differentiates them a little bit. So even if they did have the same skin, you could still tell it's Sacrilege because of those extra engines here. So honestly, I felt like that was just a reply that they don't want to work on it. Not that it actually wouldn't be a good idea because I think it would be so good. Uh, so much Plex would be spent on these kind of skills. I'm telling you guys, I'm so much Plex would be spent on these guys just to allow all these like basic skins being on most ships. All right, that's enough for now. That's enough for now. Discussion on skins right here. Let me know what you guys think about skins. Do you guys think that there should be some kind of way to have custom skins in the game? Uh, I, I really would love that to be the case. I would use so much Plex. Hope you guys enjoyed this video right here. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.